Hello and welcome to All Expo and Happy New Year to you all. It's going to be a big year for the channel so if you aren't subscribed already hit that button right now and join us and tap the bell too to make sure you never miss a video. Today I want to talk about Premier League managers and coaches and look at the best ever FIFA ratings given to the people currently patrolling the touchline in the top flight. Obviously there are some managers who never made it on FIFA on account of being quite old, so for managers where I've got no written to look at, I'll pick one of the coaches instead. So here we go, here is every Premier League manager or coach is best ever FIFA rating since FIFA 05, as there's no proper record of earlier ratings than that. Mikel Arteta 83 the Gunners boss has been under a lot of pressure in recent weeks but appears to have turned things around, moving Arsenal away from the relegation zone and ending the media frenzy where people were pondering what would happen if they went down. I mean, let's be honest, they were never going down, it was a storm in a teacup. But Arteta is one of the youngest managers in the Premier League and has therefore been on FIFA multiple times over the years for both Arsenal and Everton. It was a Gunnarsson where he got his best ever FIFA rating, getting an 83 on FIFA 10 at a time when he was playing the best football of his career, around the time people wanted to play for England. Christ, we were desperate back then. Dean Smith, 53. With a rating like that, Dean Smith probably wishes he was never on FIFA at all. This incredibly low rating came back in 2004 when FIFA 05 hit the shelves. Back then, Dean Smith's playing career was winding down, with the now Villa boss representing Port Vale, which is famously the club that Robbie Williams supports. The former take that superstar even had one of his songs on FIFA 2000. Well, he probably hated using his beloved Port Vale on FIFA 05 or FIFA 06, as Dean Smith was absolutely useless. Graham Potter, 43. Could be worse, could have been Graham Potter. If Dean Smith was bad, Graham Potter was barely a football record in FIFA. The current Brighton boss was also on FIFA 05, but only had a rating of 43 while he was at Macclesfield. Christ, it's no wonder he had to flee to Sweden to rebuild his reputation. He probably had kids pelting rotten fruit in the streets for being so bad for Macclesfield on FIFA 05. Sean Dyche, 66. For the third time in a row, we've got a FIFA rating from the 05 edition of the game. Clearly, FIFA 05 was a good year for current Premier League managers. Kind of. Sean Dyche was much better than Smith and Potter, with a big brute of a defender getting a rating of 66 while he was at Watford. Sean Dyche looks like a bloke who would take no prisoners as a defender, and a ring of 66 suggests that he maybe wasn't the most cultured in possession, which is basically how you can describe most of his Burnley team. Frank Lampard, 90. Christ, does he even talk of Frank Lampard getting the sack now? I hope he stays in the job long enough for me to get this video out, as he's got the best rating out of everyone. Super Frank was another current boss to feature on FIFA 05, but his rating of 90 made him one of the best players on the game. In terms of goal-scoring midfielders, there haven't been many better than Frank Lampard, which is why he's recognised as one of England's greatest players and causes a plethora of debates over who is better, him, Steven Gerrard or Paul Scholes. If you want to get into that in the comments, be my guest. But with a 90 rating on FIFA 05, Frank Lampard is the best former player currently managing in the Premier League. Roy Hodgson, never been on FIFA. Sadine Kiley, 79. I mean, of course Roy Hodgson's never been on FIFA. The man probably doesn't even know what a FIFA is. He's been in management since the 70s. Between picking the Palace team, picking up his prescription and waiting in line to renew his free bus pass before getting home to watch the chase, Roy Hodgson hasn't got time to play Xbox. Ask him what one is and he'll probably just say something you put your eggs in. But his goalkeeping coach Dean Kiley was once on FIFA of course, and you guessed it, his best rating was from FIFA 05, back when he was a 79 with Charlton. Carlo Ancelotti never on FIFA, so Duncan Ferguson, 78. Christ this video idea is unravelling quickly. Carlo Ancelotti is another man who's never been on FIFA, and I'm surprised he's never had an icon card, considering they're just giving it to anyone nowadays. FIFA clearly have it in for Don Carlo, as on FIFA 21 he looks more like Paul Piss in Hollywood. So instead we'll look at his assistant manager, the somewhat soothing and terrifying at the same time, Duncan Ferguson. The Scottish strike was a 78 on FIFA 06, I'm not being funny, but surely Duncan Ferguson was a lot better at play than Dean Kiley. Scott Parker, 83. While everything he says gets dubbed over a street song and his suave suits make him look like something out of Made in Chelsea, Scott Potter is another young Premier League manager with a promising FIFA past. His best rating came back when he was running around in circles at Newcastle. Seriously, he just loved to be spinning around as if he was a Kylie tribute act. That was on FIFA 06, and his rating of 83 would easily get him in this current Fulham team alongside Zambo and Gisa. Marcelo Bielsa, never on FIFA, so Simona Farina, 62. Again, it's no shock that Marcelo Bielsa has never been on FIFA, considering his playing career ended in 1980. But then again, I bet the bloke's probably quite intrigued by the game. I mean, at times when you watch it, you'd think you were watching a game of FIFA rather than a real game, such as the way they move the ball with such accuracy and precision. 
It wouldn't surprise me if Bielsa uses FIFA in the same way racing drivers use games to memorise tracks. Ok, he probably doesn't do that, but the loan manager at Leeds knows all about FIFA, or at least he was on it. Simone Farina was a 62 rated player on FIFA 12 back when he was in his native Italy, and that's probably the only time he will ever get a mention on this channel, or any other for that matter. Brendan Rodgers never on FIFA, Socolo Toure 88. Brendan Rodgers never really had a playing career to be honest, so there was no chance of being on FIFA, but one of his coaches, Colo Tour, has a rich history on the game. I mean, he's a bit of a FIFA legend to be honest. I'll never forget the days of having both Colo and Yaya playing centre back on career mode with ratings so good you think it was Beresi and Beckenbauer at the back. Colo Tour was once an 88 on FIFA, and of course it was FIFA 05, back when he was the better of the Toure brothers. Jurgen Klopp never on FIFA, Sir John Achterberg, 68. Jurgen Klopp was another manager never to get on FIFA, ending his playing career in 2001, but to be honest he was never the best, and considering what he used to look like, his FIFA picture could have been a sight for sore eyes. To find a current Liverpool coach who was on FIFA, we've had to head to the goalkeeping department, where Dutch stopper John Achterberg once played his trade up the road at Tranmere. He even got himself a 68 on FIFA 05. I mean at this rate, I reckon I could have at least got a 40 on that game. Pep Guardiola, 90. I've cheated here, as Pep Guardiola was an icon on FIFA 20, meaning he joined Frank Lampard with a rating of 90, even if it isn't a proper rating. But Pep was even on the cover once upon a time, with his useful face gracing the cover of FIFA 2000, back when he even had hair. Obviously it's been a stressful 20 years for the Stone Island enthusiast. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, 85. The baby-faced assassin is turning heads in the Premier League right now, fighting of course for his head to emerge as a shock title contender. I'm not sure how it's happened, but there's no doubt that Solskjaer was a top player back in the day. In fact, he was even an 85 on both FIFA 05 and FIFA 06, even if that was years after he was at his ultimate best in a Red Devils shirt. I'm not really sure why he was so good on FIFA 06 to be honest, as he never played the season prior. Ah well, maybe he knew the guy who sorted out the ratings. It's probably the same bloke who's kept him in a job this long. Steve Bruce never on FIFA, so Steve Harper, 78. Right, according to a TalkSport article, Steve Bruce was an 89 rating on FIFA 97, but I haven't really got any way of verifying that. I was only 2 when that game came out, surprisingly I've never played it, and there's nothing else really out there on the World Wide Web. So instead I looked at another Steve, and Geordie Veteran and Steve Harper. Harper's a coach now with the Magpies after years of warming the bench, and that bench was so warm one year that he was able to get a 78 rating on FIFA 06. Chris Wilder never on FIFA, so Darren Ward, 67. For the Blades we've got another goalkeeper coach, as Chris Wilder is another bloke whose career ended too early to appear on FIFA. Darren Ward's career ran until 2009 though, meaning he was able to feature on FIFA 07 as a Sunderland player, where he got a rating of 67. I mean that was hardly a vintage time for Sunderland, but then again it was probably better than things are right now. Ralph Hassenhutl never on FIFA, so Kelvin Davis 74. Christ we've got a lot of goalkeepers here haven't we? Saints boss Ralph Hassan was another manager who didn't really do much as a player, but on the touchline, he's excellent. So instead we'll turn to his staff, and Calvin Davis was on to 74 rating on FIFA 13. I never really got Calvin Davis to be honest with you, I remember once being baffled that he was a shiny shootout card. Do any of you even remember shootout cards, or am I just showing my age here? Jose Mourinho never on FIFA, so Ledley King, 84. Of course Jose Mourinho was never on FIFA, the only proof of him ever actually playing football was when he went in goal for that Grenfell charity game, a game more famous for Damien Dove running relentlessly at Jarvis Cocker from Pulp. But one of Jose's coaches was a top player, and Ledley King has a FIFA rating of 84 to prove it. That came back on FIFA 07, and he was the best he ever got during a career that was hindered by injury. Sam Allardyce never on FIFA, so James Morrison 76. The new West Brom boss has never been on FIFA, and he probably hates it. He'd much rather head to the bookies, stick on an acker, quick pie or something from Greg's, wherever there's no queue, then set up camp in the local boozer and watch the scores come in. To be fair, he'd probably prefer that than being West Brom manager. But one of his recently appointed assistants was James Morrison, and he's been on FIFA before, and got a rating of 76 on FIFA 18. David Moyes, never on FIFA, so Kevin Nolan, 80. David Moyes is another managerial veteran who never featured on FIFA, and something will have to go majorly wrong for him to get an icon card. To be honest, Kevin Nolan was never that good on FIFA, despite getting an 80. He was just too slow. You'd think he was dragging a bus on his back every time you tried to counter. Nuno Espirito Santo, 75. We end things with the Wolves boss, a man who is best known as a player for just being a backup goalkeeper. He was a 75 with Porto on FIFA 10, which would probably have been enough to get him on the current Wolves bench alongside every other Portuguese person on the planet. 
So there we have it, that's every Premier League manager or coach's best ever FIFA rating since FIFA 05. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.